What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel and the video review of the Hawkeye Firefly Micro. It is a 1080p slash 720p mini action camera and it has a built-in 200 milliamp battery for a record time of about 60 minutes and it charges up in about two hours. It has a 160 degree field of view wide angle lens and the video format is in AVI and the resolution at 1080p is 30 frames per second and at 720p is 30 frames per second as well and it also functions as a camera. All right so let's take a closer look at the camera. Now this is the left side of the camera. This will be the top and this will be the right side of the camera and that'll be the front. Now right on the top we have an on and off button as well as the OK button. This is the mode button to change the mode from 1080p, 720p and to the camera mode and this will be the LED light indicator. Now there's some ventilation slash microphone holes right on the top as well as on the side. Here is a reset button if you want to reset it to the manufacturer's default settings. And here is a charge slash data transfer port in which we are also given the cable to charge and to transfer data. Here's the micro SD card slot in which I have inserted a four gigabyte micro SD card, but they recommend you to use an eight to 32 gigabyte micro SD card. Uh, it was working fine for me with this micro SD card at four gigabytes, so I have no problems with that. Now I've taken uh, about four recordings two at 720p and two at 1080p in which each of the recordings were about four minutes each and it used up about 2.7 gigabytes of this four gigabyte micro sd card all right so when you're sliding in this micro sd card you need to be careful not to slide it in at an angle because it could go into the camera itself so make sure you are exactly perpendicular to it and just kind of gently slide it into place. It does not lock into place, but we do have a camera bracket that kind of covers it a little bit. So I'll show you that in a minute. All right. And we also have a lanyard support as well. This camera is very easy to use guys. Here's the on and off button, which I'll depress it, short press it and it'll turn the camera on and it is indicated by a blue light as well as a green indicator light. Now the blue light indicates that it is in 720p and that flashing green light indicates that it is recording. So by default, a single press will start you to record in 720p. Stop the recording, just press this button, short press it, and it will stop the recording. Now to change it to the 1080p mode, long press the mode button and at which time the blue light will turn into green only and if you hit that ok button it will start recording in 1080p and just the green light blinking on and off indicates that it is recording in 1080p to stop recording just hit that OK button again and you have stop recording. Change it to camera mode, long press the mode button again and it will go solid blue. And to take a photo just hit that OK button and you have taken a photo just like that. Very very easy to use and long pressing the power button will turn the camera off. Just like that. And while you're charging the LED indicator will turn red and after it has fully charged, it will turn off. Okay, so here's everything that comes with the camera. Here's the box that the camera came in and here is the instruction booklet. Uh, when you open it up, however, the letterings are very, very small. So you will need a magnifying glass. It comes in English and in Chinese as well. Now here we have some GoPro mount type fixtures for the camera and we are also given this little device here to plug it up underneath of the camera mounting bracket so you can go ahead and utilize the GoPro style mounting bracket and here is the USB charge cable here's the data portion of the cable and here's the USB we are also given this AVI connector 
but this camera does not have a playback mode so i'm thinking maybe this is multi-use cable for other hawkeye firefly products all right so here's the camera mounting bracket for the quadcopter in which i have affixed it to my fury b x140 via a couple of zip ties and i did put a double-sided sticky tape in between the mounting bracket and the top plate of the quadcopter so it minimizes any movement and it also acts as a soft mounting for the camera now the bracket has a fixed tilt of 30 degree angle so that is very nice just perfect amount of tilt angle and to place the camera on the bracket just place it on that open side slide it in and it clicks into place and we are allowed access to all of the functional buttons on the top and the power and the data transfer port on the side as you notice the micro sd card now is blocked from being ejected via that little overhang on the camera mount so that is very very nice now this camera mount is also available to purchase as a spare part so that is even nicer i'll leave a link down below for the camera and the camera mounting bracket in the video description so the Hawkeye Firefly Micros firmware is also updatable via the Hawkeye.com website. Just download the latest firmware into the micro SD card, put it in, turn on the camera, and it will automatically update to that latest firmware. So it is very nice of them to have continued support for this camera. All right, so coming up next is a couple of video footage. Uh, the first one will be in 720p. The second one will be in 1080p. I've also done a compilation video uh, comparing the first and the second video side by side, as well as going back and forth from the first and the second video. Now, keep in mind that the video volume has been shrunken down to just 3% out of the 100% because at 100%, it was simply just way too loud. And there were a lot of wind noises on top of that. All right, so always clean your FPV camera lens as well as your action camera lens before each and every flight. And I'll see you on the next one. Happy flying.